Hey there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an anniversary logo in Photoshop. So this is going to be 30th anniversary celebration. And I'm going to walk you through how to create everything step by step with no step speed. Okay, so we're going to start everything from scratch. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. So we're going to set up our canvas. But remember to subscribe today is the first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial let me also know at the comment section if you need to subscribe to my youtube channel so let's jump into action so i'll go to file and then go to new and for the purpose of this i'm going to set my canvas in inches so that's going to be 10 by 10 inches and my resolution is going to be around 300 and i'm okay with that the background is going to be white and i'll click on create so this is going to be our canvas you can zoom in on this whilst you work okay we can zoom in and out anytime at all we want so this is the logo we want to work with so first let's get our circle so we'll get the circle in the middle so go ahead you we'll go to your tools and we'll pick an ellipse tool we'll drag in order to get a perfect circle, we hold and shift whilst we do the dragging. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. I will change the color to deep blue because that's what I'm using. If you want to use the same color, then I can even come here and then pick this color code. Okay, I can pick this color code, copy, and then make sure I'm using the same color for this. So we can use the eyedropper to over right here. Or I can just go to the background, double click on it, and then the color overlay here i can just change the color from here paste the color code i picked from here okay so i just place this here and then what we'll do next is we need a digital copy of this we're going to create another one with the same background we're going to give a stroke a yellow stroke around it so this is the same thing hold down all to us you drag this and it's going to give you additional copy now we'll double click on this and then we'll give a stroke so enable stroke and I'm going to use a stroke. I've already done this, but if you don't have yellow, you can select here and then sample a yellow color. Okay, so now I want this to be in the middle. I can hold on shift whilst I drag it to the size that I want, and I'll make sure I place this in the middle. To confirm if this is in the middle, you can select the two together, come to the top here, and then make sure you realign this. So, this definitely this is in the middle. You can also use the ruler. You can also use the ruler in a guide to actually protect or do the placing okay you can place guides around this whilst you work on this okay so let me just include some guides on this well we have this place now we can go ahead and then start writing so let's write a church of pentacles so we just use the type 2 that is the horizontal type 2 and then let's type the church of pentacles So that is okay now let me just highlight this and then increase the font size a bit and i'll use my move tool and report and then go ahead and reposition this now i just want to make this appear like a curve just as we have over here so we're going to use the warp warp text here you can see from my option bar at the top to so click on that and we are going to use the arc at the moment the style is none so go ahead and click on the arc and then we can start doing the adjustment from here so you can see if you drag it you can bend down or top so i want to bend it to the top this way and click on ok i can just move this on top of this i can also resize this remember with the warp you can come and change it anytime at all you want so let me just resize this and let's see i want to bend it inside a bit so go back and pick your type to select it again highlight everything and go to the warp and let's drag this inside a bit so let's bend it inside i think this is okay and then i'll move this down okay, okay. i can easily resize this anytime i thought i want so i'm just going to place this i'm just going to place this at the moment now i really want to rebend this again i want finally bend it the church of pentacles i want 
to bend this again so i'll highlight everything go back and then bend it inside again okay so i'll stick to this for now and then we'll go ahead and then add the 30 so that's going to be 30th anniversary celebration so let's go ahead and then pick the type tool and then let's type the number three so this is going to be white so make sure you highlight everything change the color from the option back to white i prefer to use a calibre font i'll use that but it's going to be bold and then i will enlarge it so i'll go ahead and enlarge this and then just reposition it here I can zoom in on this whilst I work okay so that you can see exactly what you are doing so just resize this so I'll drag it inside in order to reduce the size okay this is okay for me okay, so for the text here for the zero we are not going to use the type tool but rather we'll use the ellipse tool so go and pick an ellipse tool and then just hold and shift in order to get a perfect circle and then we draw this like this the background is supposed to be white just like that okay and now we will add a stroke to this you can see i have the gold golden stroke or yellow stroke around it depending on how you see colors so i'll go ahead and then double click on this and just apply a stroke around it select a stroke and the stroke you can have that inside stroke or outside so I'm going to change the position towards outside okay that is good and now I want to please you can see from here I have the church logo inside the ellipse or the circle so I'll have to do the same thing over here so I've already downloaded that you can go online and then download that image so I downloaded the logo and I can just place it here it's too big so I have to resize it so drag it inside until you're okay with the size you want Remember to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Now we have this place, we can type the anniversary celebration down here, or we can just type the th for the 30th. You can just go ahead and then let me just type this down here. You can type it anywhere and then reposition this. Select it, make sure it's white. Okay, so just resize this to any size of your choice and then we can go ahead and then just place it anywhere we want to okay, I feel it's too big so I'll just resize it so I'm okay with that and now I'll type the anniversary down here okay so this is where start the anniversary celebration I'll type it here reduce the font size a bit and then I'll go ahead and type it celebration so i want to use the impact phone i want the phone that will make it appear very good so i'll go with the impact enlarge this a bit and just position it here you can enlarge it any time at all you want adjust it to the size you want and then for the celebration i'll type the same thing you can hold alt drag this to get a copy or a duplicate then you can just highlight it type celebrate celebration okay so i will actually go ahead and resize this a bit and we are good to go so this is the celebration and i drew a line at at the top and also below so we just go back to my tools and pick the line to hold down shift whilst i drag this to get a perfect line and then change the color to what white okay so this is what I want. I don't want a. I just want a short line, so you can just reposition this. I want a short line below this as well. If you look at the final design, I have a line there, so I can just go ahead and use the same line to just draw something like that. Hold on, shift in order to get a perfect line. Make sure the line is white, and that is it. And the final part of this logo is going to be the Mount Zion at 80. So. We can come down here and then we can even change the font color before we start typing so just select the color click down here and then we type mount zion the add symbol at 30. okay so
so we can position this right below our logo resize this a bit resize this a bit position it perfectly you can zoom out and you can see what you've done you see how perfect this is looking if you want to change the background color go to your layer go to your background layer select this or just unlock it first and then when you open the layer style then go to the color overlay you can see this will make some part disappear so let's use a yellow for the background and you can see how this is going to appear so this is just a simple e or easy way to create an anniversary logo using photoshop like subscribe to this channel especially if this is your first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so like come away again bye bye